and Jesse Le Pen, Chargé d'Affaires at the U.S. Mission in South Africa. This is Samukhezi Ngabane, who is an alum of the U.S. government-sponsored Fulbright program. She did a master's at San Francisco State. And this is Dr. Sandra Ardry, who is a professor at Western Kentucky University, but spending the year as a U.S. government-sponsored Fulbright specialist here at the University of Limpopo. I'm in Polokwane, Limpopo, to talk with these two about a program they're doing at the university, creating a women and gender studies program. So tell me about this amazing partnership. How did it happen, and what did you look like? Well, uh, as you know, I received a, uh, a Fulbright scholarship to come and to teach and to do research uh, into the um, women of the African diaspora. Uh, and so my initial uh, goals were to, to reach out to the students to do research and to talk and to, and to connect with the, uh, with the women here. Um, but then when I, when I got here, um, we met mm -hmm. and I was really interested in you know, the research that she's doing, uh, really interested in um, developing a gender and women's studies program. Uh, you know, while I have experience in, in other places, mm -hmm. I'm not as experienced in, with the South African women. Uh, and so it really um, has been helpful to sort of connect uh, mm -hmm. with her research and with her knowledge of this area. The partnership is, is really exciting because um, I am already learning a lot from her. Um, she's, she has taken over the class that I've been teaching um, because I, I needed some time to uh, focus on my PhD. So she's now teaching the gender studies class that I was teaching and um, I help her into getting <laughs> to into, the class, into, to class. into the class, to ease into the class, reworking the syllabus and mm -hmm. grading mm -hmm. and communicating with the students. But you've also had a mentoring relationship. What's that been like for you? I was able to make it because of the mentors that I had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I went to Ohio State, for my graduate work, I had mentors. Mm -hmm. And th those mentors were the ones that pushed me, pulled me through. Uh, there was a place that I could cry mm -hmm. <laughs> and I could vent. Mm -hmm. And so I really want to be that, be, be that, be that for her. You also had gone to the U.S. I on have, a Fulbright. I have. And so for two years. You did a two-year Fulbright. <laughs> Which is a long, US. Time. <laughs> a long time. What What was your experience as a as a Fulbright participant? So in the US? I um, I got back last year June. So the program that I was doing it was different because I I majored in international relations, mm -hmm. and so I switched into women and gender studies. So that was also new. And then also the learning environment was like, <laughs> oh my goodness, um, you know we are uh, we. Um, we, you, we still are using the banking model this side, and U.S. is not on that boat. So The you, banking model? No, U.S. is not. What do you mean? Okay, the banking model is where a student comes in class and listen to what the professor is ah. saying, take Takes down them. notes, and that's the end of the, the class. In the U.S., you get in, they, they ask you, so what do you think Foucault is saying? And you're like, um, no, I'm still <laughs> trying to understand Foucault. <laughs> so, it, it was very different, and it really stretched me in different directions. I learned so much, and when I got back, um, I started to do that to my students as well. I was like, you guys, I need you to do a, ref a reflection of what you read. I don't want you to go to Google and say, um, what does Alice Walker say? I want you to personally reflect, give me your own thoughts and give me your own understanding. So I learned so much. I got to understand that, uh, you know, we, we still have so much to do with this side mm -hmm. in terms of trying to, to, to deliver the curriculum and to trying to, to get students to participate and to be critical. Join us on social media and connect with U.S. Embassy South Africa.